Here is the rock and roll trunk. Finished? Are they ever finished? But let's show you what we've done so far. Michelle and her excellent distressing skills was able to paint the trunk, distress it into this gray theme we've been working on, which is really nice. I like it a lot. And then Michelle came up with the idea of putting these mini like rock and roll posters, which she found on uh, Amazon. So we got all the bands that we like, Blondie, the Moody Blues, you know, even Bob Marley down here, ACDC. And then we had the idea of, why don't we reach out to maybe one or two of our friends who might have some real backstage passes. For okay, so this is the rock and roll trunk, Patrick's prized possession now. One the of them. At the <laughs> moment. Um, and a lot of the cool stuff on here is actually real memorabilia from our friend Tracy Ferry that he shared with Patrick um, and that we've put on this trunk and there's some cool stories that go along with a few of the items one of them is this um, VIP backstage pass from the Boston Strong concert that was after the Boston Marathon bombings and he played in that and then the other really cool memorabilia is all this this kiss stuff here. So when he was a kid in like 1976, he was um, competing in a roller skating competition, a national roller skating competition. His family had a roller rink in Indiana, I believe, where he was from. And he was a really good skater, still is, um, but did so competitively back then. He and his mother were staying in a hotel in Fort Worth, Texas, I believe, and um, he, when he got there, some of his skating buddies said that the van Kiss was staying in the same hotel, so he started wandering the halls to try to find them, and he walks right into Gene Simmons' room, and Gene Simmons just kind of looks up at him and is like, uh, would you mind shutting the door on your way out? <laughs> so pretty much dismissed him right away. The next time he saw them, they were the band. They were sitting at breakfast in the hotel, and Tracy was sitting across from them in his silver skating outfit because he had just competed. And I guess they were a little curious about what his outfit was for, so they called him over, and then basically he started kind of having a relationship, friendship with these guys. Um, and he would bump into them periodically, like at the pool, and um, they didn't mind, specifically Gene Simmons was very kind to him and, and didn't even mind if he like popped over at his table while Gene Simmons was having lunch with his girlfriend or something. So they started a friendship where they corresponded for several years. He joined the... Kiss Army. Kiss Army. That's and, cool. Um, One of the first members, probably. Yeah, so these are, um, this is his concert ticket, mm -hmm. which he was surprised with. He didn't know he was going to go to the concert, and his mom surprised him with that. So that was really cool, his first ever rock and roll concert. Mm -hmm. And then he actually has autographs from all the band members. So these are real autographs that uh, was sent to us when we printed. So we got Paul Stanley. Peter Chris and Gene Simmons. He did have Ace Frehley, but that, as we all know, things get misplaced over the years and we yeah. lose things. I know I've lost a lot. You know, he sent us some other backstage passes and stuff yeah. from actually being in the band Boston. So Yeah, so we got the uh, 2014 Boston tour here. We have... Um, this is uh, this is just another one he had from Boston, and they're kind of on the front too. Oh, the the Rock Man, Tom Schulz has created the Rock Man. The sound of Boston comes from Tom because he's created all the equipment to make the the sound, which is <laughs> crazy. There's a Van Halen backstage pass here. There is a U2 uh, Bono and the Edge played on Cape Cod. Uh, there's actually a video on YouTube. You can watch that. So the rock and roll trunk. Now you are very, you're a historian without the actual title. I don't think so. Yeah, I think so. No. So you're a great historian about history. Where does this trunk come from and how did we get it? Okay. Um, I don't know where it originally came from. Oh, the army? Well, 
Yeah, but I don't know. Okay. So we ended up with it because my brother, Ted. Very frugal Ted. Frugal Ted. My brother, Ted, um, gave us that trunk when we got married. So the, he filled that trunk with pantry items for us as part of like a wedding present okay. because we just bought our house and so june of 1987 we got the trunk somewhere around there Filled may with june good stuff yep and it was green green solid green yeah army green and then we used it like a coffee table and for storage because we had we had a tiny house we might have had the original tiny house <laughs> that everyone talks about. You see on HGTV today. <laughs> what was the square footage of our first house? I don't know, but it was 17 by 24. Yep. And then Patrick built an addition on that. Double the size of it. More than doubled because we built an addition. It was all post and beam. Mm -hmm. Patrick did everything himself pretty much and yeah. it was um the addition was 17 by 34 right and then we had a spiral staircase also that you built that was all wooden yeah um that I went up to safe. your office or <laughs> the third bedroom it was not built to co any kind of no it was horrible <laughs> even a building code of the 1800s would have, <laughs> would, wouldn't have made that <laughs> it was, but it was it worked and it was it was awesome and it looked cool. yeah, yeah so you. so anyway we had that trunk there in that house and we painted it white with it no. was all no it was it was white right and we did all the um the base of the trunk was white and all the metal trim around blue. it was blue right then we had it for years in our our last house on cape cod yeah in we, west Yarmouth. yeah we had it there yep. for years we yep. still didn't change it and then towards i don't know the end of when we lived there in the 2000 teens mm -hmm. we painted it silver right we silver. painted the whole thing yeah. silver i just used a spray bomb and again for this changing color and distressing there's nothing wrong with going to the big box store or the hardware store and buying some mm -hmm. spray bombs to change colors no. um there's nothing wrong with that and it's a quick and easy fix if you want to do something and then now this yeah. house in uh, port st lucie it was time because now as you've seen in our videos we're changing our furniture a little bit we're not getting rid of it really we're updating it to our liking, mm -hmm. right? And then of course, these pieces that you've seen, we've built, but, um, so that was now time to, to change the rock and roll trunk into something that fits. And now it's in office. your office. Yeah. yeah. It's not a coffee table anymore. It's, it's storage. It's storage in Patrick's office. Yes, yeah, junk, so. junk trunk. Mm -hmm. uh, so, I'm Michelle. I'm Patrick. We're the, the Galinskis, and we've, we've got, got this. this. Thanks for watching.